Hi guys, this is Cindy Leach, your polymer clay tutor, and today's studio tip, I'm going to show you how to make a long Skinner blend or teardrop blend. Now, I got a request from some, somebody the other day who had seen a tutorial on making a cane, and they took a Skinner blend or teardrop blend, and if you don't know how to make one of these blends, uh, check out one of the other videos. But um, they had taken one of these blends in the tutorial and just showed up at the next step with it long and skinny and the person that had watched the tutorial had no idea what was going on and they didn't know how to convert this to a long skinny blend so I thought I'd show you how to do that all right so you've got your um your teardrop blend or skinner blend I'm just going to warm it up here a little bit and it's gotten wide and you want it long and skinny so you can roll it up into a, a bullseye cane or something like that. So what I'm going to do first, my first step, is I'm just going to roll it up nice and tight like this. And you don't want air bubbles or anything in there so make sure it's tight. And then what you're going to have is a long roll where your blend is going from one color to the next color. In this case, it's a rainbow blend, so it has lots of colors. Then what we're going to do is we're going to start flattening it out. And you can use a brayer like this acrylic brayer. And what you want to do is get it flat enough that it can go through your pasta machine without being too hard on your machine. So I'm just flattening it out a bit. And then we'll go, we'll start at the... Well, we're actually just going to roll it at the thickest setting to start with. And instead of going into the machine this way, we're going to go in lengthwise. We're just going to end up with a nice long tape where the color goes from one color to the next. I'll try to keep this going straight. Now, if I roll this up from one end to the next, we're going to have the blend going through the log. Now, the this is a quite a thick blend here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to run it a little bit thinner just because the thinner it is, the smoother the, the transition is when you use the color. So I'm going to go one setting thinner and then just one more after that. So I'm going to go down to a three on this machine, which is, let's see how many, it's about five playing cards thick and that'll be fine. So I'm just going to run it through. And then now I've got a long skinny blend and I'm just going to roll it up from one end to the other. And what we're going to get is a neat uh, rainbow bullseye blend. It's, they often call these Skinner blend plugs because it's a plug of clay with a Skinner blend. And you know that, uh, see how beautiful this is becoming? We're getting a, a rainbow that starts in the center and goes all the way from the center all the way out to the outside color. Is that pretty? So that should help you if you were didn't have any idea how to make a long Skinner blend or teardrop blend. And like I said, I have a teardrop blend video um, in my channel if you want to check it out. And uh, so you can make these great rainbow blends. If this video was helpful for you, make sure to press that like button. We really appreciate it. And my question for you today is more of a request. Do you have any suggestions for me for videos where you've seen something but it doesn't quite make sense and you'd like me to help you out with that? I'd love to make a video on it. And uh, you can leave those suggestions in the comment section below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We have new videos that come out every week and you're not going to want to miss a thing. We'll see you next time and bye for now.